Tonight, cancer survivor Raylene Halra is celebrating. I'm still almost speechless. It's absolutely going to save lives. She's had cancer twice. After a mastectomy for breast cancer, she got textured implants. Five years later, those implants caused BIA-ALCL, a cancer of the immune system. I don't want anybody else to go through what I've been through. The FDA revealed today there are now 573 cases of this cancer worldwide, including 33 deaths. Most involve textured implants made by Allergan, which issued a voluntary recall and said in a statement, it's taking this action as a precaution after seeing the latest research. Patients and doctors have raised concerns for years. They actually can come point. Forming networks on social media to warn women. The textured surface is almost like a tiny Velcro. It grows into the woman's body. I believe that that's the source of the breast implant associated lymphoma because there's an interaction between the woman's body and the implant. Last November, NBC News, in conjunction with the International Consortium of Investigative Journalists, found the disease could be more common than previously thought, with rates as high as one in 1,000 in women with implants. We still have a lot of work to do because there's thousands of women still with the implant. So we need to make sure they're informed. Raylene is now cancer free. Doctors say if the cancer is caught early, it can be treated successfully. So Vicki, what should women do if they have these implants? Lester, the message from the FDA and Allergan is this. If you have these implants, you don't have to have them removed unless you're showing symptoms. That being said, watch out for rash, swelling, pain. If that's the case, call your doctor. Hey, NBC News fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.